Well, welcome, boys and girls. Welcome to Uncle's Gym. If he can do it, then you could do it better. In today's episode, we're going to be making wheel spacers. Can you say wheel spacer? <coughs> okay. This is what we're doing. I have drawn out a quick bit of a circle thing. It looks like a circle anyway. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a circle. If anybody thinks it might be something else, then um, write down below. All right, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna chop this thing off. And let's just get that in there like such. That's about as far down as she's going to get in that pass. Open her up. <clears throat> Turn it back up that way. See if we can line this up. Yeah, about there. Not trying to cut on the line, we're just going to cut on the outside of the line. If you try and cut on the line, you're going to get screwed. There we go, that's close enough. Just on the outsides of those lines, absolutely beautiful. And you might be thinking, why the hell is Jim doing this when he could just go buy some? Well, Jim's a tight ass. And uh, well, when I went to the shop, they wanted $32 for one. One of these fucking things was $32. So I went to my favorite place, which is the uh, recycling place, and uh, I got a sheet of aluminium for $2 per kilo. Yeah, I ain't paying friggin' 60 fucking dollars for two of these. Fuck that for a joke. Okie pokey, let's uh, pick this up on the grinder, shall we?
Here's a uh, little trick for you. Finding the center of a circle. Always usually a bit of a pain in the ass. A fork. Right, you can actually make these yourself. You use a fork and have the straight edge of the ruler going into the very center of the fork. Like such. And you can lay it down on any circle and rip your teeth out, trying to take the pen off the lid off. Turn it around. Done that. Do that quite a few times. Now, mind you, my circle is not absolutely perfectly round either. It's approximate, but which you'll see. And the more times you do that, the more times you'll get the exact center where they all cross over and interlace. Works such. Just make sure your your forks on there. For a, a bigger circle like this, a, a bigger fork would be a lot better when it sits in there properly. But as you can see, that's our center right there. So that's one way of doing it anyway. Obviously, there's a lot more ways to skin a cat. Meow. I wonder where the hell that bloody saying come from. Skin a cat. Once they skin the cat, you eat them with the fur on. Everybody knows that. All right, time to drill the center hole. Blib. Always like me a bit of lube. Sorry about having a clamp there, but it's uh, about the only place I can really put it. Oh, what a lovely sound. Right, so our next thing we do is we just put a couple of daubs of this or any other kind of marking material, a bit of silicon or whatever the hell you got, a bit of liquid paper on top of your studs. Sit your piece on top like that. Then when you go to lift it up, then you've got the marks for uh, where your holes are supposed to be drilled. Ta da And there we are, done. And uh, it looks like a bloody ripper actually. I'm really pleased with that. That actually looks a hell of a lot better than the uh, ones I bought off eBay. Bought these ones off eBay about a year ago. And um, yeah, I think mine are quite a lot nicer. All right, beautiful. Well, until next time, stay safe, and uh, we'll see you around like a wrist, old trendsetters. Check ya. Techno, techno.
cosmopolitan railroad.